My name is Aaron Massey from MrFixItDIY.com and today I'm going to show you how a water heater works and how you may be able to significantly cut down on your energy bill by updating your water heater. If you followed along with the channel for a while, you know that I love finding and testing out ways to improve overall energy efficiency in the home. As an owner of an older home myself, many of these homes weren't designed with high energy demand products like water heaters and HVAC systems in mind. While common comfort items and efficiency improvements might be staples of some new modern homes, energy bills can easily pile up in older inefficient homes. So today I'm going to introduce you to a really cool new product that can significantly improve your energy efficiency when it comes to hot water and show you some amazing new features that can simplify and give you some peace of mind in your home. Now before we jump into all that, I'm going to show you how the various types of water heaters work in your home because I find that understanding how things work in your home is crucial to knowing how to fix them when they need to be repaired or replaced. Now if you don't care how they work and you just want to see some of the cool features of what I'm going to show you, no worries, you can just skip ahead with the time code links down below. Otherwise, here we go. In most homes, you likely have either a gas water heater or an electric water heater. Depending on your location, the type of gas your water heater uses could vary from either propane, which is typical in more rural settings, or natural gas, which is typical in more city and suburb locations. So let's take a look at the differences between a gas water heater and an electric water heater. In either a propane or natural gas water heater, the water tank typically has a number of the same features. If we were to take a look inside at how it works, Here's the critical components. The gas enters via a pipe connected to a gas regulator valve and thermostat on the bottom of the tank. Inside the tank, the valve connects to a burner directly beneath the tank. Cold water enters the tank through a dip tube, which is a long pipe that reaches towards the bottom of the tank. When the thermostat senses the cold water, it opens the gas valve and ignites with the pilot light, causing the water heater to heat to the desired temperature which can then flow out the hot supply line to the rest of the house. The excess heat and vapors created from the combustion of the gas flow out an exhaust pipe that runs through the center of the tank and out the top. In addition to those features, the tank has a couple of other safety features. The most important feature is the temperature and pressure relief valve, which is located towards the top of the tank. In the event that the water becomes too hot or the pressure in the tank exceeds the safety threshold set by the valve, this valve will open and spray water from the tank to relieve the pressure, preventing it from exploding. There's also a drain valve at the bottom of the tank, which is used for regular maintenance and when repairs are needed. An often overlooked component of the machine that most homeowners don't even know exists that can greatly increase the lifespan of a tank is the anode rod. This removable rod is made of a sacrificial metal like magnesium and is designed to attract the corrosive elements of the water, like calcium, away from the enamel-lined steel walls of the tank and towards the anode rod. Over time, the calcium in the water will eat this anode rod rather than corroding the inside of the tank itself. Replacing this anode rod every few years will greatly prolong the life of the tank. If you don't replace the anode rod, eventually the corrosion will eat through the anode rod and then it will start attacking the outer walls of the tank itself, which will lead to tank failure, usually in the form of a pinhole leak. Once that happens, you'll be forced to replace the tank, often prematurely. Now let's take a look at what makes a traditional electric water heater a little different. It has many of the same safety components of the gas water heater, like the temperature and pressure valve, but it doesn't have a burner or vent pipe through the middle. Instead, it has two sets of heating elements at different heights in the tank. Each has its own thermostat and will be triggered to activate based on the water temperature at the various heights in the machine. Almost all traditional electric water tanks like this are 220 to 240 volt appliances, so they draw a significant amount of electrical energy. Now let's talk about the typical advantages and disadvantages of the various types of water heaters. As I mentioned before, owning an electric water heater is common in rural areas because it doesn't require city or town run natural gas line coming to the home. However, the relatively inexpensive nature of natural gas as opposed to the price of electricity typically makes natural gas water heaters more cost effective in the long run. However, that seems to be changing a little bit, which is what I'm going to show you now. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Proterra Hybrid Electric Water Heater with LeakGuard technology by Rheem. Now full disclosure, Rheem did provide the tank that you're going to see installed in this video for me to test and review. All the feedback that you'll see and the opinions in this video are still my own. Let's take a look at some of the unique features on this heater and how it works. 
First of all, this tank replaced a traditional electric heater at my dad's house, which is in a little bit of a rural setting. Each water tank that you buy comes with a big energy rating sticker on it. On this tank, you'll notice that it's significantly less than the traditional electric tank that it's replacing. But how can that be? Well, the answer comes in how this tank can operate. What makes this tank considered a hybrid is that it has five different operating modes that can be engaged at different times. So let's take a look at the different modes. First of all, a unique feature of this tank is that it's completely controllable via your smartphone via the Econet app. You can set the temperature of the machine, change operating modes, set schedules, and monitor your energy usage right from the app, making it the first smart home water heater that I've ever experienced. The first operating mode we're talking about is the heat pump mode. This water heater has heat pump technology in it, similar to what you'd find in a mini split HVAC system, which means it has the capability to draw heat from the air around it and convert it into heat energy to heat the water itself. You'll notice a large exhaust fan at the top of the machine that pulls air from around the machine into it in order to do this. This means the machine is using ambient air temperature and just the power of the fan in order to heat the water instead of the full electrical draw of a traditional water heater. The difference in operating under this mode is that it takes longer to heat the water than if you were to operate it in the electric mode. Electric mode is kind of the traditional operating mode of the machine. In this mode, the machine operates based on the temperature setting that you have programmed. You can adjust the temperature directly on the touch screen or via the app. The water heater will keep the water temperature in the tank at that setting throughout the day. The next operating mode is the energy saver mode. Now in this mode, the heater can be scheduled to operate around peak electricity rate times. Now many homeowners may not even be aware that the price of electricity can fluctuate throughout the day. Now once you understand that and you find out when those are, you can program the schedule of the water heater to operate in off-peak hours when it costs less to run, which can add up to significant savings over time. Next, you can elect to put the heater into high demand mode via the app. Let's say you've got family in town staying with you and everyone needs to shower, you need to do extra laundry, dishes, all that stuff. High demand mode allows you to have plenty of hot water on hand so that you don't have to worry about someone taking a cold shower. Now you can also monitor the hot water availability in the tank at any time in the app and know when and if you need to make a switch to high demand. And lastly, there's vacation mode, which is fairly self-explanatory. If you're headed out of town on vacation or you just headed into work for the day, you can set the heater to away slash vacation mode, which effectively shuts the machine down so it doesn't draw power to keep the water to your preferred temperature all the time. If you're rarely home during the day or you do a lot of traveling, this option can add up to significant savings over time. There's also some cool safety features. This tank has a safety feature called leak guard technology, and that feature senses water around the bottom of the tank that could be triggered by a tank leak and automatically shuts off the water supply to the tank. It also triggers an audible alarm on the tank and alerts you via your phone through the app. This is an awesome feature for anybody that has a water tank inside their living space as opposed to maybe in a basement because if you get a water tank leak and you're not home to identify it, it can cause significant water damage to your home. If something does go wrong when you're not at home and it senses a leak, it'll shut off the water supply. So while the tank may drain a little bit of the water that's in the tank out of it, depending on where the leak is, you're not gonna have a continuous flow of water until you recognize it. You also get the alert on your phone so that you know if something's wrong. The app also alerts you for a series of other alarms, including if the temperature or pressure gets too high, or the machine requires some maintenance because of the heating elements or something like that. You can also forward these alarms to a plumber or a service technician so they know in advance what the problem is gonna be. Now, overall, I think this is a really cool product and I can definitely see where the future of water heater technology is headed. Like most home tech, being able to control every aspect of your home via a smartphone is pretty cool. I would definitely recommend this product if you're looking to upgrade or replace your traditional electric water heater. I think it will significantly save you money on your electricity bill over time. If you currently have a natural gas or propane tank, the necessary work to swap it all out and replace it with this tank may not be worth it for you. However, if you're also adding solar to your home, I could definitely see how making the switch to this tank would be worthwhile. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And most importantly, I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button down below and leave a comment to let me know. Also be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss out on any of the content that I put out. And as always, you can find all of my home improvement, repair, project tutorials, and DIY project plans on my website at mrfixitdiy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.